Eight under for the tournament for Megan Kang, four under on Thursday, four under on Friday. How do you feel after 36 holes? I'm feeling pretty good right now. Ball striking's getting there, and uh, the week off definitely helped because I went back home. My dad and I worked on our swing, and my caddy and I were just working on really good numbers and just try to stay patient out there with the weather being the way it is. How about your game overall um, this season? How do you sort of grade out your, your season, and, and how do you want to um, improve? Uh, definitely the beginning of my season was working like around that B plus A and then towards the middle on the west coast it's kind of just started going down so I, it was time to take a break, head back home, have dad work on the swing and right now it's slowly climbing back up and I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I mean out here you just got to stay patient and I have my dad's a phone call away so we're always chatting about the golf swing when we're not on the course. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you go home, like you said, and, and work with Dad, I mean, what, what sort of are you guys kind of tinkering with and trying to perfect? We're just trying to take away, like, work on the takeaway, just kind of because if you work on the golf swing, it's just going to straighten out everything. And with him, it's all about positioning. So we do a lot of working on positions, and in the end, it's going to fix itself on the golf course. How much do you like coming to uh, Kings Mill and Williamsburg? You said, I think, four years ago you came here as an amateur and mundane. Um, how much do you like coming back here year after year? I love coming back to Kings Mill. The people here are great. They're so open arms, welcoming, and the golf course really suits my game. So I think the, it being on the East Coast as well, it definitely is much better for me travel-wise. But definitely I try not to miss this tournament, and I hope I don't miss it in the future. What do you remember about that first year you came here as an amateur and mundane? That's the funniest thing. I met my host family because of that year. I, um, I was an amateur, of course, and I was playing with Candy Kong. We we're on the 13th hole, the par three, and it's probably like the furthest part out. And they blow the horn, and the ho two families like on the corner right there, they're like, oh, just come inside. Like, it's okay. So I asked Candy, I was like, hey, is it okay if we go in? And she's like, yeah, I don't see why not. And my dad and one of the guys got talking, and he goes, hey, if you're a pro next year and you, you want to stay, just stay here with us. So I've been staying with the same host family for like the past three, four years, and it's so nice coming back to them. Yeah, we've talked to other players that, that have similar stories to that in that they've stayed with these host families for so many years here. Is that, is that kind of nice when you have a family to, to come to when you come to a, a new location? It's definitely nice because you don't get to see them often. It's once a year, and I mean, I love my host family, and they're very understanding about my situation here. They understand I'm here for golf and technically here for work. But I love spending time with them. They got a new dog, and I love dogs, so it's perfect. All right, well, good luck this weekend. Thanks, Megan. Thank you so much.